welcome back to the Inspired Entrepreneur with Heather Hope. Hey everyone, happy Monday. Okay, how are you doing? Thank you so much for all of the comments I've been getting, the messages, all that wonderful, wonderful stuff. I appreciate you guys so much. So today is November 16th, Monday morning. It's really not. It's Saturday night for me. <laughs> so um, let me dive in. I did a bunch of announcements yesterday. Of course, the book is um, on its way to me. It is published, not published yet. So, okay. So if you're new here, let me, let me do a proper introduction. It's been a, a while. My name is Heather Hope and I have been helping people, <laughs> teaching people um, the law of attraction, primarily the, the teachings of Abraham Hicks. I throw in a little bit of Bashar and I really love Sanaya Roman. I really love, I got to check in, see, she's not as um, out there like Esther is, <laughs> not at all, but she's been around as long as Esther Hicks, so that's pretty cool. I love her books though, guys. Let me know, let me know in the comment section if you have any of Sanaya Roman's books. I have six of them right here next to me at all times. <laughs> like, the, she is outstanding. Love her love 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 the best book on money i've ever read is called creating money by sanaya roman it's all channeled she does the exact same stuff as esther hicks um i know i'm late to the party on this one <laughs> i'm late to the party on abraham as well but i'm really late to the party because i remember the very first time i um showed a picture it was last year on my my page of like i love this book this is like the bible for money and and like a bunch of people who follow me are like, yeah, I have that book, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like, why well, I'm so late to the party. I am late to all of this stuff, but that's fine. Um, I love these books, though. I love them. Like, I am so in awe of all of these writers. You know, like I said yesterday, I'm just going to write, like, I think I'm just going to write a bunch of books this, this next coming year. I just have so many t topics that I keep, you know, going back and forth from. Okay, so um, so I wrote a book, The Inspired Entrepreneur, which is what sparked this podcast. So basically, this podcast is 366 days. It's a daily podcast. Now, I don't think that far ahead at all because I know that if I do, I could easily get like kind of freaked out about it. So I'm not going to talk about that, but because I'm just going a couple days at a time or a, a few, you know, a week at a time. Of recording because I enjoy it. I enjoy it's kind of like my outlet to talk. <laughs> and so it is a daily, it's a daily inspirational book of a message of something that I've written or, you know, was inspired by the, you know, others who write or channel or um, how, whatever you want to call it. And um, so today we're on November 16th. So the book I got, um, it's on its way. I uploaded it to Amazon. Yesterday I was talking about how if you want to write books, publish them. It is super easy, guys. Just write the book. <laughs> like That's the hardest part. If it's hard, if it's, I mean, if it's hard, then you're not lined up. You know what I mean? Like if it's easy, then it's, it like writes itself. But the publishing aspect of it, is super easy. I mean, things just get easier over time. Technology gets a lot better. Like I mentioned that I had published a bunch of books back in 2015 and now it's even easier. So super easy. I learned how to create my cover. I created all my covers in the past, but they were all eBooks. So this is my first print book that I have um, created. It's being delivered on Thursday and we'll see what it looks like. And if it's good, then I'll publish it. I'll let it go live. Okay. So let me jump into the book. Once I get the book, then I think we'll see if I'm going to do video. Because right now it's so easy to be like practically in the dark in my office, not having to worry about my hair or my makeup or what I'm wearing. You know what I mean? It's really nice. That's why I love audio so much. 
because I don't have to do anything other than show up and talk and and uh, all that good stuff. Okay, this one's short. Yesterday was long. Today is short. When you're in the vortex, there's no effort. Focus on feeling good. Then do what is inspiring to you. When you really live your life like that, there is no effort. I, I, I have been so productive because I, I put feeling good and having a good time as my priority. And then I feel inspired to do more. And when I feel inspired to do something, there's no effort. It's so easy. Like everything becomes easy. And then I, I'm even more productive. And then the more productive I am, I get so much more happier because I'm like, I love being productive. And then I keep reaffirming it. I love being productive and I'm even more productive. You know how it's like a domino effect of all good stuff. <laughs> it's like the better it gets, the better it gets because the momentum builds. So, and the worse it gets, the worse it gets. So when you're in the vortex, there's no effort. There's no effort at all. Like I said yesterday, how I could go through the same room that half the time, you know, sometimes it, I walk through a room, like if it's all cluttered or like my garage and it bothers me. Like I feel kind of overwhelmed and like, who's, who's going to clean this? This is technically my garage. You know what I mean? Like who's going to bail me out on this one? Cause I don't like cleaning cobwebs and gross garages so um anyway but when I'm in the vortex like nothing bothers me so focus on feeling good then do what is inspiring to you whatever's inspiring to you so every morning when I wake up I do my little you know go to the bathroom go to the kitchen take my morning supplements and then I come to my desk and I write down sometimes I write down the things that I feel like doing today the things I feel like doing today, basically, for my to-do list. Like, I don't really have, an, like, a to-do list. I used to have a master to-do list, and I got rid of it because <laughs> it was just sitting there, and I didn't like it. And so now, each morning, I just, I have so many things that I'm working on. It. I think, if anybody was watching me from the outside, maybe my husband thinks this, but I think he's used to it now if anybody saw what I was doing from the outside, like I actually knew nobody knows everything that I'm doing, not a single soul, except for my husband. Um, they would be like, what, how are you focusing on so many things and so many, um, like just so many things. And my answer is because, okay, so a couple things like Bashar says, to follow what feels interesting or exciting or, you know, that you're inspired to do, but go as far as it will take you in that moment. That's super important. So I have a lot of projects going on right now, a lot of different things going on. And I have chosen to just do the things like there'll be a day that I focus, you know, two thirds of my time on the podcast. And then there's other days that I focus all my attention on my other business. And then I come back and say, okay, well, I have a podcast due tomorrow. So I'm going to do a couple of podcast episodes today. And then I'm going to work on my book as well. And then I'm going to do, you know, different aspects, like small little pieces of everything. And then it just creates progress in all those areas. So, you know, and sometimes I just mix it up like, okay, right now. So, so. Friday, um, I was excited because I felt, so I woke up Friday and I thought, cause my other business is, um, coming together, like pieces of it. Like I have to do a bunch of things to, um, to start doing that, to actually start working that business. Like I have to get approval from the state of Arizona, um, different things. And I've been working towards that. And so I have one thing left and that probably won't come through. That's from Arizona. It probably won't come through for another week to two weeks. So Friday morning, I thought, because everything else is done. 
I mean, everything that's really hugely important. There's a lot of little things, you know, starting a business. There's a lot of things like I was working on the website today. That was completely unexpected, but it was easy because I was just in the flow and I created a website in like an hour. <laughs> and so, um, so that was cool. Just things just keep falling into place because I'm just putting a little bit of focus on it. So I thought, okay, so I have, let's say two weeks, which is Thanksgiving. So let's say I have the next two weeks. What do I want to get done that, what do I want to get done in the next two weeks? Because once that gets approved, I'm going to be really busy with my other business. Like that's just to be expected. I'm going to be really, I'm going to be out of my house all the time. I'm going to be like a different life. <laughs> and so, um, so it made me focus, right? It made me focus. Okay. I have this little bit of time because I don't want to like have something on that back burner where then I don't have time to get done. Right. Cause my focus is somewhere else. So the books came to my mind, of course, because I was been working on them. So the inspired entrepreneur came to my mind. And the next one, the 30 days, I talked about it yesterday, a lot. Um, the 30 day, what's it called? It's right, right here. 30 day, um, 30 days to manifest your success journal. It's a three month journal. And so Friday afternoon, I got really excited because like, okay, so I'm going to work on that mostly for the next week or two until they're done. And so I worked on them for like an hour and I got so much accomplished on the second book. Like it just fell like into place. Like I wasn't sure how I was going to do it because it's all like formatting, formatting how I want it to look. I wasn't sure how I was going to go about it. And then I showed up to my computer and just like played around with a couple things and then was directed to, you know, a platform that I'm, I'm very well versed in <laughs> that I use all the time and it became super easy and I created it in like an hour and I'm like, holy hell, <laughs> that was so easy. I was in the vortex. When you're in the vortex, there is no effort. There's no effort. So that really sparked my thing of like, oh my God, these books are going to be done. How about I set the goal of having the, both these books done by Sunday? And that's all I focus on. Now, of course, the podcast had to be recorded as well for a couple of days. So that was thrown in there. But, you know, pretty much focus on, okay, for the next three days, I'm focusing on these books because I want to get them done and then I want to get them published. Like I want to get the proof and that takes a few days and approve it. And then, you know, like all of that stuff. So I want to get that done. Like I need these books done before this approval from the state for my other business. And it's happening. I got the first one done Friday night. Now I was, I had expected to get the second one done Saturday night, but right now it's Saturday night, like recording this Saturday night, 7.33 PM. We'll see. I'm not going to do any more podcast episodes right now, but, um, we'll see. There's a couple of tweaks I need to make. Um, I think the first cover is done. I'm going to have multiple covers so people can choose. So you guys can choose which cover you resonate with more because there's some really great choices. Um, I'm not sure, you know, that may take a little extra time, but I'll start with the first one. That's pretty much done unless I want to mess with it. <laughs> and, um, I need a couple things in the interior to be completed and then it'll be done. Like literally I can do that tonight. So there you go. You know, it's just, that's how I felt inspired. Like, okay, what do I need to get done? Well, I'm also putting the house up for sale soon. <laughs> That's another thing. Like I said, people from the outside would be like, what the hell, girl? Are you freaking manic? Not really. I'm just inspired. I'm inspired. I'm inspired by all the intentions that I've set forth. I'm inspired so much more because 
a business that was becoming a huge struggle for me to do anything in because it was just a lot of stuff I didn't want to do. Um, I was going to say, I don't like online marketing. I really don't. I'm not crazy about it. <laughs> so um, this other business that came in, you guys have heard that it was inspired. It came out of nowhere. It, it, it literally checks off every freaking box, every box that I can think of, of things that I love in general in life including making a lot of money. <laughs> so it's like all there. And every step along the way has been effortless. Every step. It's super easy. It's it's just coming together that like no other business has ever come together for me like that. So this this in itself could be another book because I know so many people right now who are struggling in their business because I truly feel the business is not really for them. That's hard. That's hard to come to terms with. Let me tell you of like, maybe, maybe you're trying to push a wet noodle. Maybe you're pushing against a business that really doesn't, really doesn't suit your desires as much as you thought it did. And maybe if you just focus on being happy and focusing on the things you love, just in general, not in business, just in general life, that the perfect opportunity will just come to you. And you're like, oh, wow, I like this. I really like this. And when you start going down that path, everything falls into place. And you're like, wow, that was so easy. That was so easy. Unlike, I just talked about it this morning, unlike knowing somebody who's been trying to put together an online course for two years, but keeps coming across tons of issues and not wanting to do it and really just pushing a wet noodle the whole time. Technology sucks, you know, all that, you know what I mean? Trying to make something happen that doesn't line up with what they really want. And it's really hard for them to do because there's so much of it that they really don't like. So I see that all the time. People are pushing wet noodles everywhere. <laughs> that sounds so funny. But, you know, when you let go and you just be happy and you just appreciate everything that you love, you will attract the perfect, what I call the soul aligned business. And that was my membership that I've had for the last year and a half, the soul aligned business attracting your soul line business. And I did that while I was teaching how to attract soul line business. Like that sounds so backwards, but it's like the teacher keeps learning. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's just unreal. So now I can, I, like I can teach it even better now because through like real true, not just picking something because you, you think that you're good at it or just because you've done it for so many years, like me being in the helping profession, being a therapist for a long time, being in that field, it just seemed like the logical choice. But is it truly something that I love doing? Yeah, sometimes I do. But now that I know what I know about helping others, it can really throw you for a loop. It can really um, just, it can just, there's a lot there lot there. So anyway, when you're in the vortex, there is no effort. Focus on feeling good. Then do what is inspiring to you. This is how you live your life. This is how you live your life. And the thing is like, you don't have to do like a career change. You can, because I didn't plan on it. I never planned on having a career change. Never, never. I thought this was what I, what I was going to do for who knows how long forever. Um, I do know that I'm going, I'm taking a turn into being a writer and like less coaching, more writing, more speaking, I suppose. I don't know, whatever I'm doing right now, whatever that is, <laughs> but, and creating a, a like a, a, 
a side career with that as my passion career, like as the passion part of me, like this is a subject matter law of attraction that I really love talking and I really understand it well. And I've manifested every area, but I also created, I've created another business that fulfills other desires, like other things that I love doing that, you know, I've talked about for a long time that I love. So you can have it all. Basically, you can have, you can have it all. But like, hopefully when this new, the second book comes out, the 30 days to manifesting your success, gosh, you know, my titles are always long. The Inspired Entrepreneur. I'm shocked that it's so short because I always create long titles. It drives me crazy because I never remember them. <laughs> so 30 days to manifest your success. That came up in the grocery store on Friday. I think it was Friday. I was all in the vortex, like so excited about this. Yeah, it was Friday. My husband and I went to the store. We did our separate shopping because we were only both there for two, a couple different things and I couldn't find them. So I just went through this thing and then I found them and we were, I was standing behind him in the line at the register and you know, like me, I'm in my little world and, and that came to my mind, 30 days to manifest your success. And I said, what is that? How's that sound? He said, good. So take 30 days and focus on what you want to manifest. One particular thing. Now it can like, it can kind of move around each day can be, it can move around to kind of incorporate something else into the vision. All right. You'll have to stay tuned on that one. That's what I got to write tonight is basically how the heck to use this journal. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go because I'm just talking up a storm tonight. So I will talk to you again tomorrow. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye, guys.